All right, YouTube, did a, another little um, mod here on my my primary mirror cell. Um, you can see we've got it. We've got the backing ring put back down on there. We put the springs in and uh, stuck the backing ring down on, and literally just kind of took and just pressed down on it and uh, and started my adjuster and screws. And you can see the little blue triangles here. That I put on all three of my uh, my adjusting screws, and I also put a white dot um, right here, just for a little easier reference. You can get as fancy or as simple as you want to get. Mm, excuse me. Um, the reason I did that was um, so I can count the turns, the revolutions um, for each each turn. And the other thing I did was I, when I put this down, um, I just kind of just easily pressed it down, and I tried to put the the triangle to where the thread actually starts. So what I did was I actually twisted this just enough to get it started, and then I marked it to where I knew it was it was started, and I did each one that way. Um, to the deal so I knew that they had just just were barely started about a quarter of a turn and there wasn't enough spring pressure really to to push back up so I didn't have to worry about it pulling the end of the threads off um, and just kind of kept some down pressure on it and I actually just started turning these guys in and one of the other things that I did was I brought home my little slide caliper here you can probably use a pretty decent tape measure if you want um, but I was curious to check um, what kind of depth between this outer ring and the the primary mirror um, backing? What kind of a depth I was looking at to see if I was pulling that mirror up? Because I kind of figure if I pull the mirror up flush um, as as possible to this outer ring, which is of course screwed onto the back of the tube, um, machining tolerances should be pretty pretty good. So I know that this primary is pretty level um, so I ain't got to worry about this thing being off one way or the one way or the other you know it should when I put this thing in it should be pretty well um, level in the tube and the other reason I made the marks was so I can kind of count um, and probably what I'm going to do once they're um, once I've got this thing all collimated out um, probably what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take off these these three little white marks and I'm going to make another mark to, to line it up so I know that my screws are if I got to do any little fine tweaking um, I know it ain't going to be much so I mean, just kind of a way to kind of keep track of how much I'm moving the primary mirror in the back of the tube is really what I was uh, wanting to to try to do so um, but I was going to show you if you very carefully take the the little depth end of the, the slide mic here I put it right at the base of the spring and then turn you can see that that's pretty much about the same there about the same there and pretty close to about the same there and right now I've got this thing pulled down to 22 millimeters all the way around so I may go in another turn or two but this thing's getting pretty tight um you know it's 22 millimeter gap which is just about a fingers with a gap here so um, originally this thing was cinched down pretty pretty tight um, and now I've got it you know it's it's fairly good and snug but it's not it's not really tight where you know like this one you can see that there's there's some pretty good tension um, on these these fine adjustment screws which is going to help out later um, so when we go to, to go to tweak these things um, it's not too easy to turn so you know you can just really twist the thing around so um, just wanted to do a little video on that I'm still waiting on my glue to to finish drying and I'm gonna probably go ahead and mount this cell back in the back of the um, the back of the tube and I'm probably gonna go ahead and pull out the corrector plate I'm gonna clean and uh, and wash the corrector plate and uh, I'm not exactly sure exactly what I'm going to do as far as that goes. I don't really want to run it under water because it's got um, rings that hold that, that corrector plate in position and I'm not going to tear it down 
um, I'm probably just going to take and pull it out and just very carefully um, use my, my microfiber cloth there and, and that, that cleanser and just kind of clean that and uh, be very, very careful doing that and, uh, and then put it back in. And then tomorrow I'm going to actually start doing the, the collimation adjustments. So that's kind of the, the game plan. Hopefully by the end of tomorrow, um, I can have this thing pretty well dialed in and, and collimated. So um, until then.